Hello there. So today I'm here trying to explain you how to know or never get lost on the bike. Obviously, this is my first time in Nice, France, so obviously I didn't know where to go. Um, so um, I tried to to uh, summarize this and make the process simple so I actually know where I'm going on the bike and don't get lost. So the, the first thing you need is a Polar uh, V650. Um, it's super affordable, uh, it has maps, um, you don't need to buy necessarily the, the Polar V650, uh, but comparing to other brands that also have uh, bike computers with maps, this is one of the most affordable on the, on the, on the market and it's, it does the job perfectly. So um, uh, I'm going to show you how to map uh, the routes and find out where the locals ride. Uh, the number one tip is um, actually join uh, on Strava, try to join one of the local groups. Uh, uh, Strava has groups and, and clubs and usually uh, locals obviously know it better. Um, so it's, it's, it's a good way to find out where the locals ride. Um, so I joined, on this case I joined uh, the Café du Cycliste group. Um, which is a bike shop or a coffee shop in Ports of Nice. It's very famous because they also have clothing. Um, so I joined their group on Strava and basically just picked a few of their riders that are belong members of the club and just try to dig into where do they ride. So I did find a few good routes uh, out of a few good members of that club. Um, and I, I don't want to sound like a, a stalker, but I actually uh, went through uh, a lot of these profiles just to see where do most people ride. So this is would be num tip number one. And then obviously, once you find out uh, which route you want to take, uh, it's, it's fairly, it's, it's challenging to find the right way because there's a lot of roads. These are mountain roads. Sometimes they have no signals. So this is why I'm doing this tutorial. So you have the Polar V uh, 650 and I'm gonna show you how to uh, create the routes and how to import it into this uh, device. Okay, so here we are on, on Strava and obviously Strava has, if you go here to dashboard, you have this little uh, option that's called My Routes. And basically the My Routes, uh, let's take it a little longer. Sorry. Um, so this is a few of the routes that I've mapped out. I've mapped uh, 11 rides in Nice, uh, namely the Ironman bike course. Um, so you go to, but you don't need to follow a specific route. Just, uh, I use Strava and I'll tell you why next over Map My Ride or Map My Run. I know some people use uh, that website as well, so I'm going to show you why Strava is good. So you go to My Routes and you go create a new route. Uh, I'm here still in, 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 in Dubai. So you pick the location where you are. So I picked Nice, France. And obviously you have Nice, France here. So I'm staying by the port, so I'm going to start mapping my routes on the port. So this is the initial uh, point uh, where sh you should ride to, to begin your, your ride. And then I'm going to uh, try to uh, turn the option of global heat maps on. And global heat maps, what it does is basically just shows you exactly where people ride. So you see the, 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 the thicker red uh, the route is, the more people have ridden um, on this uh, ride. So basically, for instance, I zoom out and I know that I want to go to Aspremont. So I'll, I'll go to Aspremont and I'll just pick, and just hit the next point there and as you can see what Strava does is that basically follows the roads that uh, most common or that are, that are the most popular among uh, local activities so this way you know that taking this ride through here instead of going anywhere else would be 
this way is, is more direct and is also safe because you know a lot of people ride on this road because it's so dark red. And then I wanna go all the way back. No, sorry. So no, then I'm on Aspermont. I do know that Aspermont is one of the uh, top cities where people ride through. Uh, so I knew Aspermont would be a good point to go through. And then I go to Levens here. And Strava is a little slow right now. So he connected straight on. And I want to go through down here. And then back to the starting point. So basically I created this route right now. And it basically gives me 33k. 890 uh, meters of elevation gain so you can see the profile of the route and this is where Strava Root Builder is better than Map My Ride. Obviously Map My Ride ha also has this option of elevation but uh, I, I don't believe it has the heat maps so the heat maps are based on uh, activities that people have logged so you can see for instance there are people, a lot of people ride here on the promenade of the Angles, which is basically where the cycle track is. So you can see most people have, that have logged, activities have logged along the beach. So basically I finished the route here and this is my route. I'm going to save it. So this is Nice Test 2 and just a, a test ride for V650. So I'm gonna save it, and once you save it, you go view my route, and you have your route created. Um, I do know, obviously, from looking at other people, other locals' rides, that uh, they do this ride to Aspermont a lot, even if they wanna go up here deeper into the mountains, they get through Aspermont to get back into Nice or get out of Nice. So, um, I created this route and now I'm going to export it as a GPX file. So a GPX file there and now I'm going to polarflow.com and so this is the polar flow and then I'm going to see I'm going to click on favorites and this is our, all my rides that I have on the uh, V800 and the V650. So I'm gonna import the route that I just created. So as you remember, I exported a GPX file from uh, Strava. So downloads, there it is, Nice Text 2. And okay, so I am uploading this to as a cycling activity and import. Okay. So uh, this is route one. Uh, this is what it was called when I imported it. So you see it's um, Polar Flow allows you to have, uh, I believe 20 favorites, uh, 20 routes. And this is the route that I just planned on Strava. Okay, this is done. Okay, so with that done, um, I've mapped my route on, on Strava and I've imported it into Polar Flow. I'm going to go into the device itself. Okay, so now I have the V650. Sorry, I had to switch from the GoPro because it was uh, filming the V650 in a weird way. So you go into settings. First thing you go into settings is you go to general settings and you, you pick maps and you pick the offline area that you wanna be on. So as you can see, I, I centered it in a niche, but you can center basically anywhere. What this does is that it makes the V650 download uh, the area that you've just selected. So whenever you have a map or a route in the, Z the 650, it actually shows you the routes around uh, your your route. So I'm going to cancel it because I already have Nice and then I can browse it offline. So every time I'm lost in Nice, I can just see the main roads and basically just use it as a GPS and find my way back. 
So once I have that, uh, the map and location figured it out, I go into favorites and the route that I pick is, um, I, I've, I, I haven't synced the V650 with the new route that I um, just created on Strava. So um, obviously it's not here, but let's just assume I'm gonna do the route that I did today which is Gillette and Bonson. By the way, it's a really beautiful route. So that is on the favorites. You see routes is the Gillette and Bonson. And then, um, and then obviously uh, this is here on the favorites, but I had to sync it to Polar Flow. Um, and once that you sync it to Polar Flow with the cable and the art computer, it, it shows up, uh, the favorites that you've picked, it shows up there. And then I start the rise. Obviously I'm indoors, this won't work well. But as you can see, the red dot there is who you are. I'm pointing, uh, <laughs> it points out which direction you are. And the route that I picked actually starts where the green is. So I basically just have to ride to the green point and then it just, it's a normal GPS. It just navigates you uh, through your entire ride. Um, so it's very useful. I know Polar uh, gets their map from Google. I don't know how accurate all the maps are, but I've never get, got lost uh, using the V650. And I'm gonna leave the link below on this video uh, if you wanna purchase the V650 online. I do encourage you to go to a local bike shop because um, if they're a local dealer for Polar, they'll have the, the device ready for you to pick it up. And I, I try to support the local bike shop, so I think you should also support the local uh, shops around you. Uh, but if you don't have a Polar dealer close to you, just buy it online through the link below. And let me know if you have questions. Uh, this is how I know where to go. Uh, I, I've picked, I've mapped the routes on Strava. I try to find them uh, based on what the locals do. Um, and I never miss out on an exit and never miss out on the road. Um, once, once you follow the routes, every time you, uh, the GPS finds the route, it says route found and it zooms in to where you are. Um, when you miss out the turn, uh, it, 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 it beeps a sound saying, Hey, you missed a turn. So you always know that you're safe. Even if you get lost, you know, you can get, get back and then find the route again on the v650 and that's it let me know if you have questions if i wasn't clear on any step let me know and i'll try to explain you on the comments also check the comments just to see if anyone had the same doubt maybe i've answered already thank you for watching and let me know again if you have questions thanks